We got a special guest in the building. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Churo. Welcome back to Bodega Eats, where everybody eats. And today, let's talk about one of the most popular NFT projects out there called MeBits. Wait, hold on one second. There's thousands of MeBits out there. Why are MeBits super expensive and why they're super popular? Well, to answer your question, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. All right, so MeBits are 3D NFT voxel characters that were created through an algorithm and it was minted onto a really popular blockchain network called the Ethereum blockchain. And this project was released this year in May of 2021. And low-key, they kind of remind me of Minecraft and Roblox characters. Maybe I'm bugging, but they remind me of those guys. And if you own a MeBit, right, uh, you will have access to the OBJ file, which will allow you to render and animate them. And there's only 20,000 MeBits out there in existence, which is crazy. It's a small number, but every MeBit have their own unique characteristics, which is pretty cool. And what makes MeBits really unique and valuable is the history behind them. MeBits were created by the same people who created CryptoPunks, one of the first and oldest NFT projects on the Ethereum blockchain. And since they've been here for so long, the value of CryptoPunks have risen so much. I think the cheapest CryptoPunk right now is more than one Bitcoin. And the people who created both CryptoPunks and MeBits are Larva Labs. And because MeBits have a connection to CryptoPunks, there is tons of demand, hype, and support from the NFT community. And what is so cool is that if you had a crypto punk you would have gotten a free random event and i don't have a crypto punk myself because i'm broke so i missed out on this which sucks and another reason why me bits are super unique and valuable is because they were created on the ethereum blockchain the ethereum blockchain is very popular for creating nfts and i'm starting to realize that nfts that really gain value and perform really well in sales have ties to ethereum blockchain like crypto punks me bits Sandbox, Decentraland, and Artblock. Oh, don't forget Board Apes too. So thinking about this, I believe that CryptoPunks and MeBits will both increase in value and will be here for the long run as long as the price of Ethereum is increasing. And currently, there are more special features being added to MeBits by the MeBits DAO community. Uh, MeBit DAO wants to bring MeBits to life by making them interactive and letting them interact with each other and metaverses, which is sick. And their ultimate goal is to grow the MeBit ecosystem. Recently, they airdropped tickets for MeBit holders to enter the Dissected MeBit giveaway. Um, currently, the Dissected MeBit is worth 700 Ethereum, and they're dividing that MeBit into 30,000 pieces, which is a lot. And they also have a partnership with Sandbox to bring MeBits to their metaverse, which I'm looking forward to. And they have community members showcasing use cases of MeBits and AR, 3D print, and in other forms, which is is amazing and speaking a bit about the future of me bits what excites me the most about this project is being able to use your me bit in a metaverse that's big because imagine you could use your me bit you'll play it in the game and interact with it that'd be pretty sick and I'm excited to tell you guys that MeBits DAO, they're actually partnering up with Sandbox to achieve this goal, which is pretty cool. And I'm very excited about it. And imagine they teamed up with a project called RTFKT Studios and make custom MeBit shoes for MeBit holders. That'd be pretty cool because these guys have actually made custom CryptoPunk shoes for CryptoPunk holders. So if you have a CryptoPunk, you would get a CryptoPunk, a custom CryptoPunk shoe, which is, uh, it's super cool. I really want one. It's probably expensive, but I believe that it's worth the price. And, but these guys, they're way ahead of me. They've been doing a lot of things with the MeBit DAO community. And one of the things that they started was the photo booth, right? You could take pictures with your NFTs online and another thing that they started was the gum me bits i don't know what this is but i think they're trying to you know turn your me bit into a gum and maybe you could buy it at a store online store and then your me bits will turn into a gum and you'll be able to eat them i don't know <laughs> something like that but it's pretty cool and another interesting project that they're working on is called me bits like me and this is a promotion that is aimed at girls and by people of color children as well as other underrepresented groups like the lbgtq community 
And this is really great because we're trying to bring all these people into the NFT space. And this is great because diversity is important. Because of all the excitement surrounding MeBits, I want to let y'all know that I copped a MeBit, guys. I had to. I had to give up my Ethereum to cop a MeBit. Yo, y'all should guess which MeBit I got. Definitely not the dissectable one because I do not have that much Ethereum. And not the skeleton. Hmm, the robot. Hmm, maybe. Maybe the robot. Nah, I'm just kidding. Guys, dude, I wish I got the robot. Oh man, you know what's crazy that these MeBits, they all costed about 2.5 Ethereum or around that price, but it, it sucks because they were randomly selected. So if you minted a MeBits, you got a random MeBit in return. And so there's a chance that you may have gotten like one of these really popular MeBits, like the dissected one, skeleton, or the robot one, or the elephant and pig, which are selling high right now. And the MeBit that I got was this guy right here. This fresh dude right here, number 16291, fresh as hell. You got the purple jacket, purple shoes, the fresh cargo joggers. Oh man, and the fresh cut too. So that's why I decided to get this fella right here. Um, <laughs> he was pretty cheap actually. He costed about maybe 1.2 Ethereum. But anyways, I'm hyped. I'm hyped to use this guy in the metaverse. And so, yeah. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think about MeBits. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about MeBits. Are you guys going to get one? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Bodega Eats, where everybody eats. And peace from the beast.